Tank from Corvallis, Montana, working happily for the flagshirt.com, producing these wonderful garments for your edification. 1983. It was Memorial Day weekend. So I kept, I started uh, pretending I was an artist. And, you know, the, my canvas was a t shirt because I didn't want to, it was, t shirts were really boring, you know, like eat at Joe's bar. That's all they ever were back then. But my idea was, you know, you make the whole shirt into a piece of art. You know, it's art. People are wearing art, and there it is, you know. So uh, I started playing with different paintings and stuff like that. I had a friend who was a silkscreen printer. And uh, he happened to have a screen of star. And he, he sh showed me how to set it up on the machine and do it properly. Oh, okay, I'll do it properly. And I did it properly. It didn't sell on. I said, hmm, I think proper is not the way to go here. So I went back to my, I just did it my way. You know, I decided, well, I'm just gonna break the rules and see what happens. And then, and again, breaking every rule. Like, what's that rule? Uh, nice. Got to have a hard surface, hard, smooth surface. No, we won't have a hard, smooth surface. I even be softer because I like, I like getting textures. Like that, that's what I was, I was into getting the tech, different textures of the inks. So because the shirt would go in and out. So I would you know, just play and I'm making art. I'm not making, I'm making art. I was looking at the book. So that's art. Oh, I can make art. So that's how I got started. 1999. This is how I got to be real funny. It was over here. Um, Catherine Malandrino. I had taken a, a, one of my flags and dipped it in some green dye, cut the collar off again, punk. I, you know, I'm very punk oriented. And she happened to see it. I had a studio in New York at the time. We'd moved to New York. We were in the East Village. Made them for Madonna more than her. Uh, I did that dress for her. I made Madonna shirts myself. Yeah. And that was the, her Drowned World Tour. That's what they, they, they she auctioned one off in uh, Christmas. That made my reputation in the fashion industry. So then after, uh, whenever they wanted something grungy or punky or funky, come see Snake. Had a store, my wife and I, after we left New York, the smallest town you could imagine, one, Two streets, Main Street, Church Street. That was it. One went one way, the other went the other way. And, uh, but there was a lot of kid, uh, summer camps all up around there. And Brett's son was at a summer camp. And uh, I guess it was pa the parents' day, visiting day. So they came into town. He walked into my shop and he just eyes bugged out because he said, well, I have a website, it's called The Flag Shirt. I don't have anything like this, like what you saw out of the truck. You know, could you make some for me? I said, no, let me think about that. Took a second. Yeah, sure, I got it. And that was like, I think about 10 years ago. That was about 10 years ago, yeah. So I love them. I love theflagshirt.com. Love theflagshirt.com. So much that I am going to reveal the secret family recipe that's been handed down for generations of generations. Like my grandmother's uh, pasta sauce, tomato gravy recipe. I wouldn't call it gravy back home. I like freestyle because then this way, every shirt comes out a little differently. So water-based fabric ink. No, smell, can't smell. It's no, 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 it's good. Let the camera smell. No toxic chemicals ever touch my product. And then being the graffiti artist that I am, I can't resist. I hate to waste ink too. Now you have to excuse me because the ugly, the, not the ugly part, but not a picturesque part. I have to go wash the screen. You know what I want to see you wash the screen? 